Why and how did Malawi's Vice President Saulos Chilima die in a plane crash? To start an upping an answer to this question, let's go back to August 2022. Back then, in Kwazi, the official jet of South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa was granted. Again, reason unpaid subscription fees to an avionics service rendered it unsafe to fly. It's not the first time South Africa's presidential jet has been rendered unsafe to fly, which begs the question as to whether the Donia 228 plane that Malawi's vice president was using was even fit to fly. Officials of Chilema's United Transformation Movement political party say that it was in fact unsafe to fly. They have criticized the government response as law and said that there was no transponder on the plane concerning for an aircraft carrying high-level delegation. This type of plane was last manufactured in 1998, further calling into question its maintenance and airworthiness. Against this background, was the vice president's death a result of a tragic accident or a reflection of systemic negligence or even something more ominous? Africa accounts for only 2% of global air traffic, but is responsible for 26% of aircraft crashes. That's unacceptable. We must make our skies safer for all Africans, VIP or otherwise.